night speed. In our stars lies the future. Welcome back to Night Speed, everybody. I'm Mike. Well, season three, it's finally here, and I am looking so forward to it. I'd like to welcome you all to the new Night Speed Mission Control Center here in Phoenix. On this season premiere of Night Speed, we're going to explore the omens of the sky, comets, specifically the comet that's been in the news lately, Comet C2023A3 Shushan Atlas. And I really, really, really want to show you what I've been doing with it. Um, it's, it's, it was actually pretty good. I'm really, really enjoying it. I got two nights. So, here's my video on this. If you're a vi uh, subscriber, thank you very, very much. If not, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Now, for my presentation. Throughout history, comets were seen as heralds of ominous events and portents of doom. Ancient civilizations believed it often foretold a catastrophic event or the death of a king or a kingdom. And there may be a correlation. We'll use Halley's Comet as an example. In 64 AD, Emperor Nero of the Roman Empire used a comet in the sky as a pretext to execute any possible successors to his throne and to escape the curse of the comet. However, in 66 AD, Halley's Comet returned as his popularity and power was waning. Shortly thereafter, Nero's reign came to an end after he was assassinated by his own imperial praetorium. In 1066, Halley's Comet was overhead during the Norman invasion of England by William the Conqueror. And just as this is another example, let's take any comet. In 1861, a great comet appeared in the sky just as the American Civil War began and was visible for three months in the sky. Some say Comet Neowise in July of 2020 was foreshadowing the death toll of COVID-19. But I put no stock in these coincidences. If you search through history, I'm sure coincidences of comets in the sky during historical events is a fairly common occurrence. On average, a comet appears in the sky every few years. Bright comets we can often appear in the average of every 10 to 20 years. And great comets appear every 60 to 100 years. If you think about it, a comet is almost always in the sky. It's just if you can see it or not. But I will leave you, the viewer, to decide. Comet 
comets are a huge event for astrophotographers. It is not a regular astronomical event in our night sky. Since 2020, I've had the opportunity to capture four comets. Comet Neowise in July of 2020. Comet Leonard. ZTF in May of 2023. And recently, Comet 12P Pons Brooks in March of 2024, as you saw last season on Nightspeed. Comet C 2023 A3 Shushan Atlas will be my fifth comet. For ease of pronunciation, we'll call it Comet Atlas. Comet Atlas is a long period comet. It comes from the Oort Cloud, a region of vast icy planetesimals left over from the creation of the solar system. This region surrounds our solar system, and once in a while, one of these icy bodies is gravitationally disturbed and flung inward toward the sun. As they approach the sun, their material is heated and it erupts in at their surface, expelled into space, creating a beautiful tail. Comets are beautiful. They have the power to create as well as destroy. Impact with another planetary body can be life-giving, delivering water to its surface. It is thought that this is how Earth received its water billions of years ago, but it can also be devastating. The impact today would wipe out life as we know it. But don't worry, Comet Atlas isn't going to collide with any planets. It will pass Earth at a safe distance of 36 million miles. Its orbit is retrograde, and due to the sun's gravity and planetary influences of gravity, it may not be bound to our sun after its orbit. This will cause it to go parabolic. The term weakly hyperbolic is often associated with this comet, meaning it may be the last time this comet visits the inner solar system, as the possibility of it could be ejected from the solar system completely. The last time this comet made its track, 80,000 years ago. Night one was a scouting shoot to get my eyes on the comet and to put the gear I was using through its paces. I'd got some great results. The comet was very low on the western horizon, giving me just about an hour to photograph it. Night two was four days later. For this, I wanted to get some great landscape shots as the comet would be high over the North Valley. For this, I went to the desert, to the Sonoran Desert Preserve. It was a beautiful sunset. But soon after sunset, the clouds moved in and it cut my night short. But not before I got some great pictures. Comet Atlas had dimmed quite considerably since night one, as it was now traveling outbound from the sun. Maybe in 80,000 years Earth may see it again, but we won't see it again in our lifetime. Comets may be omens of the sky, but they are beautiful cosmic objects with the power to change worlds. If you get a chance to see a comet in the night sky, take the opportunity to see one of the solar system's most beautiful mysteries.
hope you guys really enjoyed my video. It's good to be back. If you really enjoy this content, please like and subscribe down below. And if you have questions, ask in the comment section. I have no problem with that. Anyway, I hope you guys have clear skies in your adventures. And I'll see you on the next episode of Nightspeed. Thank <laughs> you.